Hello everybody, I'm Steamer, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Beamage Drive um, on how to import or make custom textures for the game, for uh, terrain or, or st stuff like that. So uh, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is uh, go to Google, uh, you're going to type in um, terrain textures. Um, I mean, you can basically do anything uh, that you want. If you want to do like a logo, go ahead and do it. I mean, it won't look good. But you can do it. So let's do. Uh, what, what should we do for uh, this one? Let's do uh, this one right here. It's, it looks like uh, maybe not. Um, trying to find a good one. This one right here seems like a good one. Yeah, we'll do that one right there. So you're just gonna save the image uh, to your desktop or wherever you want to put it. Um, I'm I'm just gonna do a uh, desktop for the sake of this tutorial. Um, so you want to close out Google. Um, your thing should be right here. Um, so now what you're gonna want to do. Is you're gonna wanna um, create a new folder, um, name it uh, terrain texture. If you're gonna do multiple, I would name this like whatever you wanna call your texture, but um, I'm just gonna call it that. So you're gonna wanna drag that in. Uh, you're gonna wanna rename this to whatever you want the name of your texture to be. So for the sake, I'm gonna do terrain texture. Um, I spelled texture wrong. I am very, very smart, you see? Yeah. I'm just going to copy that. Okay. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to open this with um, a software that's called Paint.net. Um, you should probably get that. I will leave a link in the description below to download it. Um, so you're going to want to open it with that. Um, once you open oh, oh, it. Oops, I already. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what you're going to want to do now is uh, basically uh, file and then save as. Um, then save it as... What is it called? Uh, uh, D dot D D S. That's where you're going to want to save it as. Uh, just call this uh, terrain texture. Yeah, just, just name it that. Um, so just say OK. And it should be exporting that to that. And now it should be right here. It should look like this if you have paint on and installed. OK, what you're going to want to do now is basically open this thing again. And I will leave a link to the um, software download, or not really software, but like a um, modification to the actual Paint.net uh, software, which basically adds a normal map, um, which is basically kind of, it like shows the 3D-ness of the actual like terrain. I'll, I'll show you when uh, we actually get started, um, like um, paint, like texturing the actual map. But um, so yeah, so you're, what you're going to do is go to effects once you have it installed. Go to stylize and it will look like this. So just click on it and just leave it at the settings that it already is at and just hit OK. And now you can see it like looks like this. I don't really know what it like why it looks like that, but it basically makes everything 3D or whatever. So what you're gonna want to do now is go to file and then save as. Um, just call this underscore um, n for normal map. Um, so terrain texture underscore n. Um, basically do whatever you're Texture is called an underscore and an N. Now just press enter to save. It should be dot DDS or dot, yeah, I believe it's that. Um, so hit OK. Should uh, be there now. So you can close out of this now. Oh, you should have these two files right here. Okay, so what you're going to do now is basically open this normal app again. Um, file, save as, um, go to, make this a PNG too. So you're going to want to save that as that, hit OK, should take a second, and now you have that right there. So, what you're going to want to do now is download a software called Displacement Creator version 2.1. And I will leave a link to download this in the description below if you want to, well you're going to have to. But, <laughs> um, I think there is other ways of doing this, but this is probably the most easiest one I've found. So, yeah, you're just going to open the software, hit run, it won't give you a virus or anything. Um, now just wait for this to load and now it will come up with this. So what you're going to want to do is go to your desktop or wherever you put the um, file of of the terrain textures. Um, you're going to want to go to, where is it, what was it called, terrain, terrain texture, there it is. So you're going to want to select your um, um, terrain texture underscore n, which is a PNG image, and hit yes. And it should take a second and uh, it will come out as a displacement, which basically makes it... Um, like black and white with it's like you black and white it and then like give it some sharpness to it that's basically what it is so what you're going to do is um, open this with um, paint.net and you're going to want to do file save as um, go over here 
uh, go to, um, that's what it's called, direct draw surface, that's what it is. So you're going to want to save that. Actually, wait, wait, before you do that, um, rename this to D. So terrain texture underscore D, which stands for displacement. Um, so just save that. Yes, hit OK, and you can close out of this now. So now that you got all your three things, you can delete these, I guess. Um, I mean, don't delete this one, but you can delete these two. Yes. Okay, what you're going to want to do now is open uh, your map. So mine is, I'm going to do Death Valley, for example. Um, this is a map that I'm working on right now. Um, Self-promotion. Um, anyways, uh, so close out of this. Um, go to Levels, look Death Valley, um, Art, uh, Terrain. Uh, and then it will be graded with this. I already used some te custom textures on this, so you should see some of those. Um, so you're going to want to go to your materials.cs, uh, minimize that, and um, select um, any one that you want. So I'm going to do gr overlay grass. So we're going to copy that, this uh, terrain texture thing. Actually, wait, no, we can just select that. There. Okay, so copy that. Go all the way down and paste that there. So, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to replace everything right here with um, this. So, you're going to want to do overlay grass with terrain texture. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is do, de for the detail map, you're going to want to do grass, um, not grass, uh, terrain texture underscore D. And then for your normal map is pretty self-explanatory. You do terrain texture underscore n. If I can select that terrain. N. And for your macro, macro map, I would just use um, the terrain texture that you already have. Just use that right there. Um, oh, why is this already? Oh, because never mind. Uh, let me let me rename that to the map. So you know, you're gonna hit um, Control F, well Control F or S, which basically does, which basically saves it, which is important. <laughs> um, uh, press yes. Wait for that to uh, load. Okay, there we go. So now you have the actual like information for it to take in. So now we're gonna do is you're gonna want to close out of this and just drop these three files in here. You can do this for any map. So press OK. Well, that's the point. <laughs> okay, so this should be in there. So now you're, what you're going to want to do is so open Beamage Drive and uh, go into the world editor. So I will be right back while I open that. Okay, I did forget to m mention one thing. Um, so what you're going to want to do is uh, open uh, this again. Well, it should be already be open. Uh, go to the, the thing again. Uh, copy and paste this. And close out of that. Uh, you can... Uh, yeah, you can close out of this. Uh, go to your uh, documents folder and go to Beamage Drive and then Levels and then your level name, which is Death Valley for me. Um, you're going to want to uh, Art Terrain, go to Materials, go all the way down, paste this here. Um, you're going to want to press Control S and press X, Exit and Exit. So now, now you're set to actually launch the map, so uh, I will do that really quick. Oh yeah, one last thing. I forgot. I forgot it again. Um, so you're gonna want to go to uh, this and just press grab. Um, um, select this and just name it to your terrain file, whatever you want to call it. Like I'm just gonna call this desert terrain texture. Te 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 texture. There we go. Okay, you should be good now. Okay, so what you're gonna do when you're in the world editor? Um, is basically go to uh, this section that says uh, terrain painter, or just press F three. Um, once once you once you did that, I'm um, going to go to new layer, and your thing should be right here. So you just want to select that, apply and select. It should take a second to load, and now you can just lay it, and you have your terrain texture. It's beautiful. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you um want me to do more like these, um, I'm thinking of doing one on how to make um, the map size bigger than, uh, two, two, 2048, bigger than that, like, four, 4,092, I believe, I don't remember what's the next one after that, but, um, 
you want if you want me to do that, um, leave a comment in below in the in the comment section below, and uh, like this video if it um if I helped you out in any way. Um, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, I will um check you in the next uh episode. So yeah, this is my new map. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, peace.